Hey everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a couple things. First off, though, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a basic control system, and what this is going to do is is going to allow us to select the Y location. Right now, we can select X locations just by using the X thing, but we need some way of controlling the Y system. Now we're going to have basically a whole bunch of these platforms like this all the way up, and these are we're going to have one for each Y location, so easy way to do this is simply to have something that can we can use to disable this. And that's why we have the AND gate we set up when we built this. The piston based AND gate. By default it's always on, so that if I add a bunch of repeaters here, we would have a system that would allow us to not need, well, excuse me, that would allow us to disable the AND gate because the upper part wouldn't be true. And the upper part is a disable slash enable system. So, there's our first part, and there's two of them, so we'll, we will eventually need to hook these back up. I think I'm going to have to use no clip to get into these. Yeah, that's okay. So let's just no clip in, because... And... Yes, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but at least we only have to do this once. Because I'm just going to copy and paste the rest of them. Okay, so no clips back off. And now we should have two repeaters at the front, each going into both the AND gates. Excellent. And now, we go like this. We have a wire that will completely disable this. In theory. So let's send power to it. And now let's use the draw command. And nothing happens. Good, that's exactly what we expected. But if I pass something through, like say, just everything, the aid of our new fill command, draw, nothing happens again. Exactly. If I undo the disabling system and send power through, then it draws. And now I can even draw something completely different, like, for example, this, hit draw, nothing happens. I wonder if the erase command, because this is sort of a hack to erase command. Hey, do you even respect the erase command? What do you know? Put again, try drawing. Not going to do it. That's exactly what we want. So, we can now enable and disable this. Uh, perfect. So now we have the enabler and disabler set up, let's go ahead and start setting up the screen. Now, before we can do the screen, we're going to have to somehow convert each of these torches into one pixel. Now, if you want, what you can do is you can just not do that, but you could just have pixels like this and have them all be torches. But me personally, I like piston displays better, so I'm going to do a piston display. The way I do this is first I need to convert into pixel. And one pixel is four pistons. So each one is going to have to power four pistons. I'm going to send power for up here to prevent it from overlapping. Do this. Two more repeaters. So now I've gotten a set of four. Now if I put repeaters on all all, excuse me, pistons on all of these, we've got one pixel. And if I send power and use the draw command, it should take power from all four. And if I go hit the erase command, it sends power. Exactly what we want. So now, obviously this isn't going to tile because of that, so we will, we will need to sort of do a different one for this. The way I'm going to do that is simply do this and not add the delay. And so again, this is really basic stuff, hopefully nothing too complicated here. But now, so now let's do, I'm going to select everything and stack it. And actually, first position, second position, I'm going to replace this. And now I'm going to stack Four. Um, a little more than I wanted, but I will stack three, and then stack eight or seven up. Seven U. And all right, I've selected everything again first. I'm sorry, that was my mistake right there. Again, there's first position, second position. 
here stack seven up there we go and now we are gonna have to put in all of our pistons manually because this is the way the system works and it sucks I know so I'll be right back once I've done that and we're back and now I've got just this big set of pistons that's all I've done nothing hard I just didn't want to make you watch me do that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from one corner above now I'm gonna go out one because those pistons were extended and again to the corner position A position B fill it this is going to be our screen whenever all the pistons get extended because when all the pistons get extended that's when they're going to hook up and yeah and I and now what we're going to have to do is we're gonna have to build the same system again eight times now I did set up a simple schematic for this and I'm going to double check my nomenclature for this or just to make sure everything worked out right and oh, oh it helps if I went into my minecraft folder and not yeah <laughs> that, that would help a lot schematics okay I got my name so now let's load. all right so now if I now when I did copy this I I did it in groups of four just because I thought that might be more useful in future times you can do the whole thing it doesn't really matter and I've replaced all the pistons with logs when I did it because pistons will get screwed up so if I paste Okay, I noticed my first problem. It's rotated the wrong way. So I'm going to rotate it 200 and... No, I think it's just 90 degrees. Yes. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. So... And when I paste it, it should be right. Good exactly where I want it to be. So now, I paste. There we go. Place a block here, and I paste. Then, this should be nice and worked out for me. Just need to place torches. And this will extend out all my pistons. And I'll need to replace all these logs with pistons. And now that should be everything set up except for the wire. I have another schematic for that, so wire well that is a problem see you don't really want to do that because that's really really bad it just destroyed half of this and I'm gonna have to redo it that might have actually been everything that would be rather incredible that was everything because usually a lot of stuff's destroyed when I do that but hey Paste. Okay, now I need to reorient it. So it should be 270 since that was what it was last time. And it is perfect. Let's just go back here. Paste. And your rotations may vary. I suggest you test it before pasting, unlike I did, because I'm silly. And, oh. I could take off the erase command. And there's a bunch of repeaters lying around. Hmm. Okay, so that, yeah, that's basically what we're going to have to do all the way up and again I'm gonna spare you the pain of watching me do this so one moment okay I've gone ahead and just done the exact same process I described to you all the way up and now there's one for basically every single pixel on here so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add one extra block right here temporarily and what we're going to do is we're gonna test this so first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to select this one and this one. This should draw two rows all the way up because every single one of these is enabled. So if I hit draw, I get two giant rows all the way up. And then I get a tiny glitch. But that's okay. I should be able... 
Oh, is that the entire row one wrong? No, just the very bottom one. And that's just a tiny glitch I'll have to figure out. And in fact, I probably should just go ahead and do that right now, so we'll be right back. And as it turns out, what wrong was when I had mispasted that thing, it would have destroyed some pistons. And when Worldout replaces pistons, well, Worldout doesn't handle pistons too well. It screws them up, so that's the reason why. If you didn't make that same mistake I did by pasting over pistons, you won't have that error. But now, okay, so we, you know, we're continuing. We've got those two. Now let's fill in the area between them, so I should select all those between them, too. And there we go. So this is already starting to work a lot like a graphical processing unit that you'd expect. Now, if I wanted... Now let's try disabling some rows. So first off, I'm just going to erase everything we've done. And say goodbye. A temporary erase command is still working perfectly. I'm going to disable every single row. I'm going to enable, enable these two rows. So now, if I draw, I should get two rows like that. Which is good, that's what I want. That's what I'm expecting, at least. Because it's like two, two separate rows, I only enable two of these segments. I selected the filled in area. So now, let's try overwriting it. And there we go, we got the selection box. So now you know the secret of doing the selection box. And there you go. So there's just a quick test of what we can do so far. And really, all we need now is just to hook up the Y system, and everything should be good to go. And here's an example where our new erase command fails. If everything is disabled, the erase command only affects the ones that are enabled, so we'll have to develop a system of handling that. In fact, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and destroy all of these because we won't need them. Now I'll erase. And there you go. So thank you. See you next time.